Okay, this is also one of the most underrated custom rooms called Komodo OS. Not a popular custom room, but still, I think so. It's not a bad choice if you want to try something different. As a lot of custom rooms here, we have we have many choices, and this is one of those. If you want to give it a try, you can. Let's take a quick look at this Komodo OS. The latest version, the official version which I'm using right now, is available for it. Be noted, and a lot more devices. Official website link is already available in the description, so you can find out if your device has support for this one or if your device has the unofficial support the things which you have here how this uh, this ui and a lot more things stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end the video could be interesting for you moving on to the default things and a quick look at the first of all thing is quick settings panel it will not give you the android 11 style quick settings panel of course but if you love pixel experience zooms or etc or if you don't like that dark background then dark quick settings background then yes we have the light quick settings background available in this version so this might be a positive thing for you one more thing which i've noticed here is the default launcher it is not a pixel launcher neither a quick step launcher or etc it has the launcher pre-installed maybe it depends upon which device you're using but most of the times you will see launcher launcher has a lot of features and you know which are those features we have Talking about the camera section, we have the Graphene OS camera pre-installed, which is a very good alternative of the normal kind of camera which you have in AOSP based custom homes. Even a good alternative for Google Camera Go Edition. I'm not comparing it, but still, it's not a bad deal. Graphene OS camera is one of the best thing because it has. It is only around 3 MB in size. I made a video already on this one. Only 3 MB and this camera seems to be good enough for you we have some few of the options available too if you want to use it you can this is about this graphene os camera which you have pre-installed let me take a look at this security section face lock fingerprint lock is already present unfortunately no app lock is here but if you need app lock you can use any other magic modules for that also we have many play store apps available if you want to use but app lock is not a big deal by the way moving on to some few of the things which are included for example in display settings there are no major things to talk about it does not have any major changes or new features in lock screen you have the option to turn off double line clocks so that you'll not be able to see the full size or big size clock moving into this battery section one thing if you're able to notice as in android 12 pixel stats provider if you use you'll see the stats with the from 24 hours but here we have the use usage from the last full charge but we don't have the option to reset the battery stats so keep this thing in your mind here comes some customizations and ui things which includes web tools some status bar customizations, some notification customizations and there are many more moving on to game space which matters a lot for some of the users yes it does not have the pixel based game space it is uh, from something different i am not sure the name but this is the game space which we have and yes this game space has some few of the extra features for you if i take a look at the game space ui for example let me add one thing as i don't have any games and i don't play games much so i've added magisk in this game space if i take a look at this ui yes as expectedly this is the ui which we have which includes these mods heads up fps info etc not a major customized one but still a good choice if you love to play games and yes don't think about the performance things because i'm using redmi note 8 so yes this is very old device so it depends on which device you are using some few of the customizations let's take a quick look for example advanced restart which is a very useful thing it's already there playback control is one of the features which i always use on my device go and give it a try for sure moving on to some notification options annoying notifications and center heads up both of these options are there so yes you have a less boring heads up option kind of available which is renamed to this option basically a very useful thing and i always use thing to i always use this thing on my device for sure status bar customizations as expectedly some network traffic options and some icons in status bar if you want to enable or disable as it does not have major customizations for you like voltage icons and a lot more things but some of the customizations are useful so those are there monet engine also has the custom icon custom color which means if you don't want to use the wallpaper based theming then you can use this option 
you have the option to use this thing which is also one of the useful things and one of the most kind of good thing for you some other options include google photos backup unfortunately what i found in this one is no google photos unlimited backup option you can get very easily by installing pixelify apk or by using pixel props and there are many more tutorials available available on my channel too but by default you don't have this so yes you need to root your device to get google photos unlimited storage but other than else some few of the things also include some komodo wallpapers in wallpaper section there are some few of their inbuilt wallpapers you need internet connection by the way further to load these wallpapers and install and download but other than else things are basically same these are the things and these were things which i just want to let you know about this is komodo os which is one of the most underrated custom rooms as i mentioned at the starting of the video if you still want to give it a try you can link for the official website is already available in the description if your device has unofficial support you can install that thing and take a look at if things are working fine for you if you have already installed this version make sure to comment below let me know in the comment box that how you like this build if you're using this version or not so this is all thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like and share this video as i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye